In this video, we are going to continue with solving absolute value inequalities. You will find this on page 376 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. More complicated absolute value inequalities. Okay, so basically it will be something like this where there's a variable on this side or like this, smaller or bigger, and remember the approach is different with smaller than with bigger, or it can be two absolute values on both sides of the inequality sign. Okay, let's look at an example. Solve this and then bigger and equal to this, 2x minus 9. So the first method, we will now look at the other method also. So the first method is using algebra. So basically, this is a Bigger. So remember the opening statement for bigger. Uh, so in the opening statement, can I just show you on a number line? So on a number line for bigger. So if I'm saying it's almost, you, you must have, okay, this is equal also. You must have this picture in your mind, always for bigger. Okay, there is just now the expression. So I will go and I will say, okay, I take the expression and it's bigger or equal to the positive value. Or it is um, the absolute value. At, it is, okay, first let's start with the smaller. Okay, so it's smaller and equal, but then don't forget to write a negative in front of that. Or, so it's that one. Or bigger and equal and then the positive one to this side. Say, for example, there is zero. And now you basically just solve them. Okay, so just multiply, divide, and this is one solution. And in this case, uh, this, this is this, and it's negative x, and uh, as soon as I divide by a negative, then I'm getting this option. So, just take it from there. Remember to check your answer in the absolute value equations. This is very important. As I said, just with equations, especially if you have a variable on this side, an expression. So this one is not working and this one is working. So basically, I will just ignore, okay, let's just see which one was that. That is the 4, it's not working. This one is, so I ignore this one and the only option will be this one. So this is just using algebra. If I'm going to do it with a graph, I'm going to basically take this statement and I'm going to break it up into two equations. So this is one equation and that is the other equation. And then I'm basically going to draw that. So that's my absolute value and this is my straight line equation. And then don't forget, what is this? It's, this statement is saying, where is the absolute value bigger than the straight line. Now the, the bigger one is where it's on top. So if you look, then I'm going to say, okay, so this is going to be bigger. Where is the absolute value bigger? It's there bigger. Do you see? Because there it's on top, there the straight line is at the bottom. But there the straight line goes on top. So it's going all the sides. So from there, okay, if I want to indicate it on the number line, I will say there, okay, now, Unfortunately, from there, and it will go straight there back. And then, because it's included, that that circle, so there the absolute value is bigger. So I have to make a sketch, and then, according to the sketch, I will decide the solution. Okay, I'm just going to give you one, and I want you also to try to do it on both methods. So let's just see which one I'm going to give you. Okay, so this one is bigger. I think it will be good if I give you number A. Because that one is now smaller and it's also not equal. So do this on algebra, but also make a sketch and see, do it on with a graph so that you understand both solutions. But let's start. Number one, A. Let's just write it down. Okay, 
And now it's smaller. Now remember, and it's for me very important that you always, it's always that opening statement that you must keep in mind. Okay, so say that's your number line. And then if it's smaller, say, okay, there is zero, and there is uh, whatever your negative, there is your positive. Now if it's smaller, then, then it's, and it's not, in, there's not an equal sign, so it's, it's this part. So you must, your opening state must, must be considering this part. So then I'm going to say, this is so, it's going to be, so I'm first going to concentrate on this one. So x minus 3, um, it's going to be bigger and then the, neg the negative and put it like this. That's your 1. So that's for that one. And now I'm going to write for this one. So it's, it's going to be bigger than this, but it's going to be smaller than this. So x minus 3 is going to be smaller, and now it's your positive option, 2x minus 4. And then, basically, I'm just going to simplify that. So if I simplify this, I will get x minus 3, and this is negative 2x plus 4. So x plus 2x is bigger than 4 plus 3, so 3x is bigger than 7. So if I divide by 3, so x is bigger than 7 over 3. Okay, that's your first statement. If I look at this one, hmm, I'm just going to draw a line here, but see it's the other one. And then this one is going to be x minus 2x, negative 4 plus 3. So it's negative x is smaller than negative 1. And remember, as soon as I divide by negative, the sign swap. So x is bigger than 1. So, but now, due to this, I have to check. Okay, so let's do the check. So let's do the check. So first, we are going to substitute this one in. We can do it into equations, so we're going to say x, okay, substitute it already. So 7 over 3 minus 3 to 7 over 3 minus 4. And if you're going to say 7 over 3 minus 3, it's going to be negative 2 over 3. Okay, I'm going to put an equal sign. Because if it's not, then it's not going to be included. So I can make it equal. And then I say 7 over 3 times that 2 minus 4. And that's 2 thirds. Get the pin correct. And then it's 2 thirds equals two-thirds, because that becomes positive. Okay, so this one is going to work. Let's do the other check. I'm going to do it again like this. I'm going to put in here a one. So if I put in here a 1, a 1, so this is going to be negative 2, and this is going to be 2 minus 4, and then this becomes positive due to the absolute value, but this is negative 2, and that's not, so that's not included. So basically, I can then just say, therefore, x is bigger than 7 over 3. Okay, but now I want to illustrate by showing you the graph. Now, if I'm going to show you the graph, and I think this graph is not so difficult, so I don't have to work all, okay, let's, let's just make a grid. Okay, let's just get the grid. Okay, let's just write it here. Um, so if I'm going to... It will work like this. Okay. Now, if I'm so negative three, so if I must draw that graph, so remember, it's going to be one and one. It's going to be, or I can work out the point. I can work out 
But negative three means it's moving three units to this side. So one, two, three. And then it's going to be one and one because there's nothing, it's just a one in front. So um, two and two. And three and three, it's going to cut there. And this is going to be the same. Okay, so if I draw the line, it's going to look like this. Okay, and now I'm going to draw that line, 2x minus 4. So if I'm going to say, I can do it with a table, I think maybe the easiest way is to quickly use a table in this case. So let's just create the table. Otherwise, cuts the y-axis, cuts the x-axis. That's also a method that you can follow. But I just to get a few points. And to get it in this area... I think a table will, will work. Okay, so if I make this x and I make this y, and I start and I make it 0, yes, and then I can make it 2. Okay, so what was it? Remember, I'm busy making y equals 2x minus 4. So if it's 0, this is going to be negative 4. And if it's 1, so it's going to be 2, my, and the mind, so it's going to be negative 2. And if it's uh, 2, so two, so it's 4 minus 4, that's 0. And then if it's 3, so this is 6, then minus 4, that's 2. So 0, just have to move this up a little bit. Okay, so at 0, I will find negative 4. Okay, you can see it's cutting the y-axis at negative 4. At 1, it's cutting at negative 2. And at 2, it's 0. And at 3, it's 2. Then if I have... Okay, something like that. So this is then y is equal to 2x minus 4. Now I must look. Where is the absolute value there? Where is it smaller? Now, if you look at this graph, there, this, the yellow one is bigger because it's on top. Do you see? So which one is smaller? The absolute value one. There, the absolute value is bigger. And I'm asking, where is the absolute value smaller? So... This value, which will then be that two and a third, do you see? And it's bigger. So basically, we say from there, okay, but it's an open circle because there's not an equal sign. So from there, in this direction, then we will say the absolute value is smaller. And if you look at that sketch, that is the reason why this is exactly so. Therefore, where x is bigger than 7 over 3 or 2 and a third.